what is up guys it is your girl Antoinette back with another video and this is an exciting series that's about maybe one or two parts and today I'm doing a mini apartment haul if you're new to my channel hello I'm Antoinette I try to post once a week you can also go ahead and subscribe to my movie reaction channel and let's go ahead and get into the video so recently I moved across the country from Michigan to Texas and Michigan to Texas and uh, I have a lot of stuff already because I spent two years living on campus in a dorm so I also bought things that I could use like in an apartment and also this past weekend I had to buy stuff to like fit into the apartment because now I have my own bathroom I um, with my own bedroom and a walk-in closet which most of, most of my stuff from the dorm room fit into that. So this is an apartment haul of things that I like just recently bought for this specific apartment. And a little bit of stuff that I've already had but never opened because I always buy stuff on impulse hoping that I need it later. Might be a bad idea, might not be, but yeah. So the first thing I bought was this air mattress, which is a queen air mattress. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go like this week or next week to go ahead and get a bed or like a bedroom furniture set or something. I really don't know. I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I also want something that's really cute. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to go get that, but we can start with this, which is a candle lighter. I think I bought this from Walmart and it was like a dollar, two dollars. and. I've always said that like we need this in case we have some kind of fire, not fire, but in case we have some kind of tropical storm or something and the lights go out, we'll have a candle lighter and then we'll probably have normal lighters. We'll have a candle lighter and we'll probably have normal lighters to light candles and I just think it's really nice to get those hard to reach candles and yeah, but I mean that's kind of self-explanatory. These are all basically essentials. These aren't any things that I, like I don't me like i got the essentials first and i'm fine with sleeping on the air mattress we have internet i have my computer and my ipad and my phone so i'm pretty much set already on like tv and stuff until i actually buy another tv so this set of hangers i already had some because i was already in the dorm room like i've said i'm probably gonna say that like 50 times but this stuff you need like hangers to hang up all your clothes I'm not really one that hangs up my things. Um, most of my jeans usually go into like a dresser and most of my shirts go into a dresser and then I'll have dresses and coats and jackets hanging up uh, for the most part. So um, these hangers are gonna get used either way it goes. There's blue and there's black. I thought they were both black, but clearly my eyes were not seeing earlier today. This Swiffer dry and wet. We bought a mop, like a normal mop, because we feel these don't clean as much. But if we want to like quickly wipe the floor or something, then we're going to use these. I already had this for my dorm room, which I never opened because school closed due to COVID. I got this from Meyer, which I don't think Meyer is everywhere, but Meyer in Michigan, they had this for I think like $20. But you can probably find it anywhere for like $20. And it's just dry and wet. It's a mop, basically. We know what that is. Razors. Now these are disposable, but I usually use them a couple, like two or three times, maybe five, because I don't want to keep buying stuff and then just throwing it away. I feel like that's really wasteful. And they're actually really good. I got these from Dollar General. You can buy them basically anywhere. I think they're like $2.65. Then, okay, so I don't know where the other pack is. But for these, I got these cotton mill wipes. Uh, they're flushable wipes, but of course, I never flush them down the toilet because I'm always scared the toilet is going to be backed up. And plus, here in Texas, I don't think their sewage system is like the same as everywhere else. So it might be even worse because we have downstairs neighbors and that would be kind of rude to just like have a toilet stopped up and then leaking into their apartment and stuff like that. So for the most part, I just use these and throw them into the trash. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you poop, you wipe with the, the um, wipes like a baby, we know. But I feel like that's way more hygienic. It might be a little bit more wasteful, but yeah. I mean, you don't need that many of these. So all of this stuff actually smells like bleach because I bought a bottle of bleach from Family Dollar. 
and it so like i was saying it smells like bleach because i bought a bottle of bleach from family dollar and it's built or dollar tree and it opened and yeah i mean the, these the stuff is still in packs so it's not really affected but i bought toothbrushes that were dollar at dollar tree so if someone comes over and they need a toothbrush here's an extra set if i need a toothbrush here's an extra set it's nice to have if you go somewhere or if you're traveling from out of state and you go to a family member's house and they already like have an extra toothbrush for you i didn't get the ones with the covers because i didn't see like the toothbrush covers that i didn't see but they're gonna be in here until somebody needs them so it's pretty much fine and next i'm just grabbing stuff i'm not going in order um these are also from dollar tree they're command strips uh for a dollar you can find them anywhere i usually can't get these to stay on the wall my pictures usually fall and kind of chip the paint which is the opposite of what's, what it's supposed to do but i got these and we're gonna try to use them i think i'm gonna make a video uh detailing the like the album wall portrait thing that i'm gonna do collage thing that it's been on tiktok and i thought it was a really cute idea and so yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna do that and then show you guys in another video coming up soon but command strips you don't need nails if you're living in a space where they're probably gonna charge you for putting holes in their walls unless you know how to plaster things and stuff like that so yes then like i said i just got bleach on everything so i hope this isn't ruined because i just got it and it was a dollar at dollar tree and it's a puppy calendar for the year 2021 that's coming up i don't know if they start actually at like december or anything or like you know how some calendars start a few months before but this is puppy there's two in here and it's really good because i don't have like a visual calendar up on my walls or anything i usually don't keep them i usually use my phone and like a planner but this is to make sure that i'm actually checking it every day to not miss things that i should not miss like it doesn't make sense it was a dollar this was about five dollars it's just bathroom furniture stuff and this is from family dollar and i definitely don't think i need it i'm not about to get soap out of the container and then pour it in here uh i might do that um but that's probably gonna be a hard thing to clean but once again it's here and it's it, it, it looks nice okay it looks nice so like i said the water and the sewage system down here in texas is very different from michigan where we uh have the great lakes and everything around us so there's pretty much always fresh water if you're gonna reference flint then you better go and google about flint and what happened in flint and the true details because not all of michigan has dirty water or uh unfiltered water and stuff like like leaded water that's not good for us you you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to like rag on flint but a lot of people reference detroit when they think about flint having dirty water but if you knew the real, you knew the real. So that brings me to this Brita. I actually got a double filter. I got a filter for the actual sink and then I got a filter right here. And I use like a reusable water bottle anyway. So it is not, it's gonna minimize the water bottles that we use. Hopefully everybody else in the house uses this. I just think filtered water is kind of nasty. It doesn't taste the best, but I mean, it's nice to have a filter. A she set, a she pillowcase set from Walmart that was about twenty dollars. It comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two queen pillowcases. And it's this. I'm probably gonna get a new she set once I get a bed. Um, for the most part, I just wanted this to go into the air mattress, so I'm not just laying on like bare butt plastic. This. It's from Walmart. It's a plunger and toilet cleaner all in one. And it holds a plunger and a toilet cleaner. Uh, this was $14. Yeah, candy. Um, this is a trash can for the bathroom. It's actually kind of big for a bathroom, so I might get a smaller one for the bathroom and keep this one for my bedroom but it's just your pretty standard Sterilite trash can that I couldn't find trash bags for surprisingly. So I'm probably gonna have to look that up and order some trash cans from Amazon and have them delivered here. 
a pillow from Mainstays that was at Walmart for like four dollars I think pillows are not that expensive when you're not looking for like a, an expensive pillow or a specific pillow so this is allergy relief because I definitely have allergies and I'll get um what's those called the pillow covers that are also uh, hypoallergenic just because we're living in a new place and I don't know how much my allergies are gonna react to everything in here we cleaned I think that's in my apartment video that I'm gonna post next week or sometime this week so yeah that was like it's weird allergies and stuff so I had to come and clean and wipe off surfaces myself if that makes sense and then here is a throw blanket I usually even when I'm not cold we have central air in this apartment and I'd like having like a smaller blanket that's not too big and not dragging on the floor or anything to just use if I don't want to lay under a huge comforter. So we got this from Walmart. I think it was like $10. There's a throw blanket. You could probably get a throw blanket from Five Below for the same quality. It's like $5, but it's really soft and it's pink. And I did have throw, but no, I got throw blankets from some store and they were way too short for me, but probably good for a little kid. But this is a queen and it's really nice. And this will be good in somebody's, like as somebody's Christmas gift. I know I would be happy if I had a blanket for Christmas, um, which reminds me I should just get everybody blankets for Christmas. Who doesn't love blankets? Like, And then you have like extras for people to come over and just hang out and they just have a blanket if they get cold. I'm talking too much about blankets. Next is a shower mat curtain set for the bathroom. This was $19.98 at Walmart and it comes with the shower rod thingies, the curtain hooks, the bath rugs, and a shower curtain. So y'all are probably gonna see me put this stuff like up and everything and unpack in my apartment video. I'm just gonna do like a 20 minute video of me moving in and all that stuff. So you're gonna see that. I have so much stuff. And then I already have towels from the dorm, like I, I've always had a lot of towels because I like to wash my hair, um, use all kinds of towels. So these are, go this is gonna be for decorating, like drying your hands. These are just extras in case someone comes over and they need a face towel and a body towel. I wouldn't force them to use like the same towel because that's kind of nasty. But here this is, you know, towels. They were like a dollar. They were like $3 for 18 towels, I think, at Walmart. I mean, Walmart is not that expensive. If you really plan ahead and know what the prices are before, you'll know how much you're gonna spend in general. And usually I go over that, but that is my own fault. Yeah. Here is a bath mat because I am very prone to slipping in the shower and it smells like plastic, but it's soft on the feet. It's machine washable, so all you gotta do is take it out and throw it in the washing machine which we do have here, very nice. Um, it's slip resistant, you know, doesn't move around the shower until you like pick it up and then it looks horrible under the shower. So you gotta clean everything. Uh, that's a lot of specifics, but um, yeah, for the most part, that's what happens. There, the thing that you never wanna touch you while you're in the shower, that's in there and that's right here. These were like $1.96 and yeah, we bought a lot more things for like the, the bathrooms like the 50 cent cups from walmart we bought a couple of those and bowls and stuff and dishes and uh what do you call those pots and pans those are what you call those pots and pans and then my mom bought stuff for her bathroom and we bought an amazon fire stick to watch whenever we get like a tv so pretty much we've pretty much have the essentials except for furniture which we're gonna get soon enough we just wanted to you know be in here and you know it's the road to a new life moving to texas should be a good thing i've lived here before i have family here so it's not like a little moving like i said i moved in back with my mom which i wanted to talk about i'm probably gonna do like a debt-free journey video but that is the end of my apartment haul and subscribe if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my movie reaction channel if you want to see me react to things it's probably going to be with this background and i'll see you guys next video